Patrick Klapik, what's going on? Welcome to Kirby After Dark. We are looking at Kirby Mass Attack for the Nintendo DS. Kirby suffers a debilitating heart attack, yes. and you have to it emerges to, with the uh, you pull the right trigger to kick, shake the Kirby, Meta Knight shake, out of the window, shake the Kirby. No, it just touch the Kirby. Shake, shake the Kirby. Look at all these Kirby's I got at the bottom of the screen. And they're singing. They're happy, even yeah. though a lot of their brethren's been murdered. <laughs> <laughs> Kirby's don't give a shit. We're going to jump into this and see if I can explain a little bit about what Kirby Mass Attack is about. Um, Sandy Canyon. That sounds like something else. Yeah, this is the, uh, I mean, kind of the second level here. Uh, so, maybe it's best if I just play. I think that might explain it best. One, this is a DS game. Uh, one, yeah, this is a, a Nintendo DS. Not 3DS, DS. Uh, so, Kirby kind of, uh, you know, best in, best out on the platform. Um, and this definitely takes some cues from Canvas Curse, which, oh, was, yes. uh, which was a delightful game. That, that's the reason that I bought a DS in the first place. I, I own one of those blue, awful uh, DS fats because I, I, of Kirby. I imported Canvas Curse. Um, so, I, yeah, I'll just, I'll just jump in here. It's better to just play rather than trying to explain this game. Yeah, so I've got already a full posse of 10 Kirbys here. Uh, the beginning of this game, Kirby gets split into ten, and then nine of those Kirbys get murdered by this evil wizard called Necrodeus. Uh, and then the last Kirby that survives is able to uh, eat fruit to make more, more Kirbys. I actually only have nine, so you can see that process happening. You can see on the upper screen, I have 66 towards 100 fruits. Uh, and then once you get to ten, it maxes out. So I'm, I can just kind of tap around. Wherever you see that little uh, star there is where I'm tapping. And uh, that just gives Kirby basic direction. Now, there's no like face button control, no D-pad control. This is all with the stylus. Which is not. I mean, that that is the the DNA of Canvas Curse. Is, look at all these buttons. Yeah. You're not going to use any of them. Pure stylus control. So I can do stuff like I could tap in a direction, and, and, and uh, the Kirby's will go there. Uh, if I tap on specific enemies, and the Kirby's can get fling to them. it, fling them, fling them. They'll they'll go there. I can also flick the Kirby's about, which I'll do now. Woo! But as you see, some of these curves I didn't make it up there, and they're going to sink to this quicksand. So I can also tap and hold, and I create this little blue uh, energy field. And I can actually just draw a line. And, uh, you know, I'm limited as how far I can take the Kirby's, but I can do a little bit. God, I love the way this game sounds. I love literally everything about this game. Great sound effects. So now I'm going to flip these music. Kirby's at this enemy. And we're going to try and take this bastard down. Oh, oh he got one. So that's the thing is is that uh, you know you, you kind of you you start off with just one Kirby and then within like three levels you've got a full posse of ten Kirby's rolling around, um, but your Kirby's are pretty fragile. They can pretty much take like like one hit and then they turn blue and then you have blue Kirby's, uh, and then if those Kirby's get hit again they turn to ghost Kirby's. But if you have a healthy Kirby, you can fling that at one of the ghost Kirby's and drag him back down into the world before he flies off into Angel Land. Just like in real life. Yeah. Well, hopefully we'll be able to see it. Easier to see than to explain a lot of uh, what's going on in uh, in this game. All right, so there you Give go. Give me that, Kirby. Give me that, Kirby. Boom. Oh, I got that, Kirby. So now I've got a full 10 uh, posse of, of Kirbys here. No. Oh, that was not enough. Some of these enemies take multiple shots. There are vocals in this music. I know. I am. I am. This is the first time I've heard this song in this game, and I love it. So if I tap multiple times, I can get my Kirby's to move faster. And you'll find obstacles like this. I gotta fling them into this to get rid of it. Oh, the music's giving me a Mega oh, Man God. vibe. What did you do? I don't know. Oh, you got blinded. Oh, totally. Well, that's okay. I know where this guy is. So in addition to fleeing them, you can tap on enemies to increase the damage. Is that is that correct? Yeah, yeah. While I, like, you, you can use that to to tell your Kirby's, hey, go towards this enemy. But you can also use it to. Let's see, let's see what's down here. I'm a little curious. Uh, tons of hidden areas and, and stuff in here. There you go. I got one of those magic coins. That's good. Uh, hidden areas, bonus games. We'll, we'll check out some of the mini game stuff that you can unlock uh, a little bit here. But yeah, so I'm tapping on the enemy once to kind of get everyone there. Actually, this game is all about like StarCraft style APM. Like you just want to be tapping fast and constantly just to get Kirby's moving. Well, there's so much going on on the screen at the moment that you're not doing anything. You're probably going to make your Kirby's liable for 
for destruction. Oh, I'll get all this fruit. Hopefully we'll get some cool fruit. Because most of the fruit is just, like, bringing up that ticker kind of one at a time. Oh, here we go. Oh, uh -oh. you. I'm not going to let this happen. Ah! Uh! And there's, you know, it's it's kind of simple in the controls of just, you know, tap on stuff, but there's something just terrifically satisfying uh, about the, uh, like, when you just mob up on an enemy like that. Well, there's, just... there's so many of them. If it was just one Kirby, it would not be nearly the same experience, but because there's there's so much going on, you're just kind of overwhelmed, but it's it, it's a controlled chaos. Yeah. And, you know, Kirby's, like I said, they're, they're not super tough, but they are smart enough to kind of stay around. They definitely get you, get yourself into situations where uh, Kirby's are dying needlessly, which is never fun. Well, what usually happens in, it, when I've been playing the game is that it's not like you'll just get one Kirby that gets hurt. It's you'll make some sort of mistake where you've, you've injured like seven fucking yeah, Kirby's yeah, at once. Yeah, it's like I made a horrible tactical error here. You'll like you'll dive you'll dive them off to some location and then all of a sudden just get crushed by a rock. I mean, Kirby games have always been about experimentation, exploration, and secrets. You know, they've never been about kind of as the Mario games got more and more challenging, especially as you got into Galaxy. But yeah, it's, it's they, not... they've always, they've always been about simplicity, but. Uh, they're, they're still always interesting mechanics. I think you're right about the experimentation. It's like it's yeah, you know, you you know, this this is not the hardest platformer in the world, and this this almost barely even counts as a platformer. But oh no, yeah, it has platforming so elements. It, nice. it, it, you don't suck up powers like you do in the other Kirby games. This is very much a one-off. Uh, yeah, you know, not not unlike uh, uh, you know, uh, Epic Yarn. Which, uh, Kirby, Kirby, the Kirby franchise kind of seems to be Nintendo sort of. You want to try this idea? Give it to Kirby. I really like that. We put him at the end of the life cycle anyway. Those those Hal Lab guys uh, seem to do a pretty good job. And, I, and yeah, I think this for a you know a 2D DS game, this it looks fantastic. I love the way it sounds. Like they get, kind of capture an, an era really nicely. Well, you started playing this on 3DS, correct? Yeah, I originally put this in my 3DS, and then I realized that the the 2D looked. So significantly worse for it that I uh, I switched back to my DSi. And that's sort of the thing that if you switch over to your 3DS, if you just keep playing in your 3DS, you forget that it does. It looks so much better on your DS. Yeah. Of course, Nintendo. Every time I've seen this game, they're showing it off on the beautiful DSi XL screen, which I forget how ginormous that is every single time I see it. Can't see what's going on. Just flick him. No, wait, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. He turned upside down. Come on. Save him. Save those Kirby's. Well, I'm not going to come back for that. Yeah, now I'm got that oh, ass. Oh, oh, no. Yeah, I love the way the Kirby's just slam the enemies. Uh, and yeah, whenever you get more than 10 Kirby's and you go, you know, collect more fruit, you get uh, point bonuses, so on and so forth. Yeah, in order to get, uh, s some of the stages have different requirements for, for I think, unlocking different things. Like, there, there are incentives to not go through missions with 10 Kirby's, because uh, it is more difficult that way. Uh, you know, I, I haven't seen that yet, but there's definitely, uh, like, you, you will find obstacles that are straight up, hey, you need, t like, the mass of 10 Kirby's. I want, I want to say it might be the boss battles where it encourages you to have fewer Kirby's to, to try and unlock certain things. Get that fruit, get that fruit. Uh, yeah, like, I, I'm still on my first playthrough here, and then we're only in the second of what I believe are four worlds. But, uh, oh, okay. Here you see another fun mechanic here. Don't, don't flick. Oh, no, I missed it. What is this doing? Well, there's a... Mm. These things tend to work in patterns. But right now, I just want to fight this dude as much as I can. All right. So now, I'll hit. No, wrong one. Get up there. Hit that. 
Hit that. Hit that. Hit that. And then... Oh! I hit them in the right order. Da -na -na -na. And now I get a fat door. How great these Kirby's look, rolling around. Those sad near-death Kirby's. Yeah, it's cool. They made it. I didn't KO any Kirby's, so... That's good. Um, so you're saving there. Let's look at some of the bonus stuff that I've got. I was going to say, that, that gives you basically a pretty decent overview of what the actual game is. It's sort of that across different stages. But these, these mini-games are pretty great. Um, so I'm just going to forget what all of these are. So let's look at some of these. Okay, so this is like a whack-a-mole game. I won't go to that because you know what whack-a-mole is. Straight up BGM player. Kirby has ears. Uh, Confirmed. So this is... I love this. This is... Uh, oh, is this pinball? This is pinball. And this is actually really good. So I actually just straight up use those little Kirby's in the lower left and, and right. I'm just hitting those with my thumbs. It's just a, a, a good little pinball table. If I can get up into King Dedede's mouth up there, there's, yeah, Whoa. here we go. So there's actually a series of boss fights in this. So first it gets oh, wow. the, the Wispy Woods, and then you fight a, a series of other uh, known Kirby enemies as well. What happened to Nintendo, uh, you know, making sweet pinball tables? They used to do that on the, on the Game Boy. They made the Pokemon one, they made oh, the yeah, Kirby yeah. one. There's a there's a history between uh, Kirby and Pinball for sure. A good one. Let's see if I can Didn't the Pokemon one come with like a Rumble Pack uh, attached for attachment for the Game Boy? Uh, it may have the uh, I want to say the Kirby one had some sort of weird like built-in gyroscope or something for the. Yeah, no, that was like Tilt that. and Tumble. Oh, Kirby's always been at the forefront of of experiment. Oh damn it! He's not afraid of change. Kirby is not afraid of change. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna get back up in that ass. I'm not done with you, stupid tree. I never understood why Kirby fights trees. That's a the really tree. The tree looks so. Well, he looks kind of like a dick right here. But in general, he looks sad. Like in the Wii version, I fought against him when I played a demo on Nintendo's, and at no point does he make a mean face. He just looks sad. He's like, why? Why Kirby? Why? It's like the distant cousin of the great Deku tree. Come on. Ah. I think I got one more hit on that tree. Yeah, oh, I got one more. And you haven't unlocked it yet, but I saw a demo of one of the other mini games that is a top down Kirby shooter in which you can have up to 10 Kirby's shooting bullets at trees. Because Kirby's not much of an environmentalist. <laughs> not at all. You see, there's a little Meta Knight up there that. Uh... Will knock your ball around if you hit him. There's there's some cool stuff going on in this table. It's uh, it's it's involved enough for the 20 minutes you spend on it, you will have a good time. Uh, yeah, and that's that definitely seems to be the the whole mo of all of this uh, this bonus stuff that you can unlock is like, you know, it's it's not all going to be stuff that will keep you enraptured for a really long period of time, but it's good enough. Oh crap! I got multi ball. Mul multi Kirby. I can you get 10 balls at the, once? That's the first time I've ever can actually got multi ball. Please try and get 10. I actually spent a good amount of time with this yesterday, too. If I get 10, I will. I was actually going to stop this, but now I got multiball going. Oh. Now there's too much going on. Oh. The knight's shooting stuff across the stage. There's a monkey that keeps getting sleepy and then pissed off. Wow. You're waking him up from his nap. What do you expect? There's little bouncy Kirby things in the left. There's that ninja in the upper right. I don't know if you notice. Every time I hit the, oh, the, uh, the right bumper, he snatches out there a little Snatchmo. Which, if I can get one of these Kirby's up there, is that his name, Snatchmo? No. <laughs> I just, I was just saying. Oh. Nope. Saved. Oh crap. Lucked out there. Nope. Oh. Oh. No, we lost that one. I was paying Whoa. attention to the upper. Yeah, What's yeah, going on crazy here? stuff is constantly happening here. Uh, anyway, we'll, uh, uh. we'll we'll back out of that. Uh, that's just a, a little taste. Um, this is like a weird like counting game. It's weird. Oh, this I just unlocked. I don't know what this is. Let's find out together. Dash course. 
Where track you? and field with Kirby. With PlayStation buttons on the bottom. Huh, all right. It's that, all right, that's a thing. So we do better this time. Just didn't go fast and oh you have 10 seconds you got it i don't know what you got but you got it i got to 25 meters it's apparently that's the goal what i need to do all right, all right that's a mini game yeah totally i will i like I, will I, do, I do like that if you go to the mini game again Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, it has the HAL Laboratory credit again. Yeah, yeah, like on <laughs> every one it, of as those. As though it's its own thing. There's also a uh, secret achievement. They call them tasks, uh, and you don't really know what any of them are, but there's five pages of these things that uh, unlock as you uh, as you progress. So I uh, defeated 50 or more bean bonds through the game, then cleared the stage after the 50th defeat. So first time I completed a level with 10 Kirbys, stuff like that. 10 Kirby first-timer. That's me, Big baby. baller. Um, I'm going to do another level here let's see here you may want to do a different so you, world so you'll see you'll see uh yeah maybe i'll roll back here uh you'll see that there's it's kind of confusing uh these these level layouts because they're so far both the first and, and second levels have been this circular kind of concentric circle design and you'll see that there are these numbers on them these numbers are not the stage number like you can see that stage one and that stage two and even though it says five, that's stage three. Those numbers are actually the minimum number of Kirby's you need to enter that stage. So uh, if we go... Oh, so you might have to go back through a previous stage. You may have to replay a stage just to build hmm. up enough Kirby's to, to move forward. There's also these rat sky pirates. Who give sure. Me, they give me hints. It's like a rat Snorlax. Kind of. Ratlax. Um, there's some way I can. Oh, how to go back a world? That wasn't what I wanted to do. Yeah. Because the stage, so it lets you do easily. Appreciate that. You back through the go through that star? Oh, maybe that's it. Yeah, warp star. Thank you. Whoop. Oh yeah, so when I went from the last uh, stage to this one, because there were Scullies here, they ate all nine of my other Kirby's and I was oh, back down to oh one. Oh my god. So yeah, like Kirby Holocausts oh. jumping off constantly here. So that's the second level. Um, there's the three and four I haven't unlocked yet, but you know, I'll, I'll take the hit just so I can show you what happens here. So I'm pretty sure I will lose. You're a brave man. Yeah, back down to one Kirby. Oh, which means that I can only do the first level. <laughs> but something's something's going on over here. Let's go see what's up. First level's all making noise. Special. Let's go get that fruit. Kirby loves fruit. Eat that fruit. Oh, these used to be apples. And apples are kind of... Okay, this is probably their way of making it so that you can... Get juiced back up to ten Kirby's pretty quickly because those, uh, those green, those green fruit, whatever those are, passion fruit, something. They fill up your meter so fast. There you go. I'm already to three Kirby's. Four Kirby's. Just keep, 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 keep that, keep that boat a rocking. Yeah. This, but this is just to be, just to be clear, this is much faster than the first playthrough uh, on my. On adding Kirby's to the the group. Oh, this is kind of the tutorial stage. Yeah, yeah. It's unfortunate because I wanted to show something. Although I love this friggin' music. All right, up here. And yeah, this is just some basic gameplay stuff.
But this reminds me of uh, Super Mario 64's music, which uh, is great music, so it makes me happy. Come on. I'm gonna tap you! My posse gets big, and then my posse gets bigger. Oh. It's all right. Oh, there are, there are also special rings if you get if your Kirby gets blue that you can restore a Kirby right. back to full health right. uh, at certain points in the stage. Yes, more Kirby's, more Kirby's. I want all of the Kirby's. Give me all. The about to have them, I think. Ah. Oh. I wish Kirby's existed in the real world. Just things, just cannibalistic creatures. Yeah, Kirby's are weird. I was having a conversation with, with Vinny about how, you know, Kirby's not like a name of like a... It's not a generic name for a race. Kirby is a, a, a character's right. name. Kirby is a, a, a specific one. You, I mean, they've only recently introduced the idea of multiple Kirby's. Because you can play as different colored Kirby's in the Wii one. But those, it's still like, those are... It's like a deep, dark Dr. Wily clone facility. Right. There's no evil scientist in the Nintendo universe. Well, I guess there's the guy from Luigi's Mansion. But he was kind of, he was a nice dude. I don't know. Does Kirby live in that world? Yeah. Have you recently heard how Namco is trying to retcon their entire uh, no. lineup of games and are, are claiming that Ridge Racer, Galaga, Dig Dug, and all and Ace Combat all take place in the same universe? Well, there has been like Ridge Racer and Ace Combat have. Have had some sort of crossover for a while. No, they're they're saying that Dig Dog, Galaga, and all of those are all united under the United Freedom Space Front. Like th that is some common referential thing, and they're saying that is that is implying that they are all existed in the same same universe. You know, I'll, I will accept that in stuff where you say like, "Hey, uh, you know, Soul Calibur and Tekken, like there's there's some connection there or whatever," but. That won't, won't accept it for Ridge Racer Ridge or Dig Racer, Dug. Ridge Racer or Dig Dug, that just seems unnecessary. <laughs> so uh, here, yeah, there's a, a little, here's the ring I was talking about. I can now grab my little, my little bluey, and then ta-da! Got a healthy uh, group of, uh, of Kirby's. Oh, also on multiple playthroughs, this is nice. Uh, you can find these, these midway doors like this. Like, there's no reason for me to go through the rest of this level. Oh, uh, oh except for now I was Blue Kirby. Um... Uh, so you can, these these doors will basically just warp you to the end of the level if you've been through this before. So. Yeah, if you've missed a medal or something. And yeah, you're, like, you're like, okay, I, I got everything that I needed to. Let's just cut the chase here, gents. I've got more Kirby's than I know what to do with, so let's slingshot me to the end. Now let's tap on this button. It's a Kirby-shaped button. <laughs> Why are they slingshot? I just like rough and tumble world of Kirby. Like he's just they he's got this posse and they roll around. He's gang, he's eating, mean, eating man. Fruit, messing up bad guys. It's cool. It's it's a it's a fun, fun uh game that they've they've put together here. I'm trying to think if there's another uh, Maybe show a boss. Uh, we could try showing a boss. Oh god! I'm trying to remember which level which level has you know what? We're gonna go. I'm gonna oh. take a gamble here. Oh. We're gonna try this level because there's a a feature, there's a power up that Kirby can get that is so goddamn cool, and you haven't seen it yet. Um, and it's maybe my favorite thing in this game so far. Is the Ice Dragon the the enemy, the boss in this world? Or is that a different world? That's a different one, I think. I haven't seen that one yet. Oh, this is the underwater section. This is not what I wanted. Run it. Okay, run back out. Let's try the boss stage. Maybe it was the boss stage. And just straight up call it boss stage. Bo like a boss stage. This is like a boss stage. Okay, yeah, no, this is a uh, this is just straight up boss. Wispy woods. Oh. So you know, you gotta do a little uh, little management from time to kind of usher your Kirby's around, keep them out of harm's way. Oh God! Like that. I need to be. Mobbing on this guy. 
that's pretty great. That's excellent use of the two screens. Oh. You can't stop me, stupid tree. I'm gonna play these Kirby's at you constantly. What is that noise he's making? Oh wait, no, spikies. Oh, oh! Oh, that was close. Oh. Spikes, spikes! I like this keyboard jam that's happening here. Yeah. Awesome like music. I got saying, just a lot of really great sound in this game. I, I, yeah, I, I really enjoy the presentation here. I, I feel like they capture a feel that has been missing from games for a while here. Um, i right, try one more level because I still want to show you this thing pretty badly. I want to say this is that level. Say whatever you want, Ryan. I think Kirby Mass Attack is awesome. And that is a fact. Oh, He's got a mustache. Spiders, spiders, spiders. Why spiders, does the tree spiders. have? I know spiders are dicks, but why does that tree have a mustache? Because he's incognito. He's hiding from the spiders. Yeah. Even trees don't like spiders. So is this the stage, or are you just fighting spiders? I think this is the stage. I'm just gonna roll past. Oh no! Spider tried to steal my Kirby's. Don't they all? I need these Kirby's. Uh, yeah, you get stuff like this with these uh, crazy cannons. I love that it's not a new sprite. It's just a just giant blown yeah. assed up version of the original sprite. They, you know, they they ride that that correct line between like kind of. Tapping into a little like 16-bit nostalgia with like it's okay that some of these sound samples are you know sound a little tinny and a little uh, you know low fi It's like it's, it, it adds to the charm in a way. Oh, stupid nose! Trees don't have noses. Don't have mustaches either, but you know yeah. what? Kirby doesn't give a shit. Say here we are. It's, uh, oh wait, no, I don't want to go there yet. Put all of these Kirby's inside. Kirby the tree. will go inside any hole you tell him to. And we're gonna knock over this angry tree. That is just so unnecessary. Yeah, but now we gotta go on a log ride. I do like log rides. This is actually a pretty fun one. Kirby's can swim. They're not afraid of water. That's the thing about Kirby is he's, he's actually probably the most like versatile and like functional of all of the Nintendo well, mascot by, by design, he can kind of do anything. He's the chameleon of, Mar of Nintendo characters. Bonus fruit. I'm having terrible flashbacks to that horrible N64 chameleon platformer. Kid Chameleon? Yeah. No. It's not Gex. No, it was Gecko. No, there was a there was a chameleon. I thought there was a chameleon. Yes! Awesome. I didn't get that last time. Glad we can help your Hello tree. No! Oh. So the only way that tree could have gotten that way is if someone was yeah, messed up his bottom half. Yeah. Trees don't naturally go that way. Oh. This game is a really gorgeous 2D art, which is something that 
the new the new Kirby for Wii. It, it, I've played it. It's fun to play, but there's just something about the traditional Kirby oh, art God, style. Oh God! Yeah, so this is a good this is a good oh. section here, or by good I mean terrifying. This is a good way to lose a bunch of Kirby's real quickly. So if you don't crush, you don't time this stuff just so. Oh, now you have to kill him too. Now I'm gonna follow it. Cause it's gonna make a path over here. Oh. See, Kirby can't directly hurt these metal blocks like that. Oh, he's looking down on that one. All right. Oh no. I didn't find the right level. Damn it. Can you just describe what would have happened to Kirby? Uh, it makes Kirby big for a limited amount oh, of time. Oh, that's right. You and, were mentioning And that. it looks so neat and it's so much fun. It's It always happens in brief bursts, but damn it if it's just not... Enjoyable. Oh, here we go. Well, bonus area. And again, just kind of re reiterating the fact that this game is just jam-packed with little secret bonus areas and asides. Uh, we're going to find one right here shortly. You'll find these, uh, these little skull keys, which I'm about to find, which warp you into an awesome new area. Oh, you stupid. Sometimes Kirby's are kind of dumb. Sometimes you gotta say no. Oh. Sometimes I'm kind of dumb, so you know, not always Kirby's fault. Nope. All right, do it again, tree. Try me, tree. Here we go. Got the key. Now we gotta fight these scullies, and we gotta get their uh, treasure chest. You got it. Da -na -na -na. Oh, you lost one. Did I? Apparently. Damn. Whoa! These sound effects are really satisfying. Uh, yeah, no doubt. Like, I really couldn't tell you what it is about them. There's just... I, like, like the, enough of them have, like, that good, like, synthes oh, God. synthesized hard edge to them. They're just really impactful. Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. The trees have got it out for you. Kirby's anti-environmental ways have come back to haunt him in this terrifying dream world this is not dream world this is somewhere else dreamland i guess not yeah it's not dreamland not even the dream warriors are here <laughs> nor the dream child or the dream master <sighs> one day nintendo will sell out and finally merge the nightmare <laughs> and elm street and kirby franchises into one as it was always predestined yeah we can only hope they wisen up there you can have one of those uh, freddy krueger uh, power-ups well i uh I didn't find the thing I wanted to show off, but uh, it's still a pretty good uh, glimpse at... Uh, oh, you got more stuff done. Checklist is capitalized. It's because it's your checklist. But they're tasks. I'm the 10 Kirby master. It's the task checklist. Clear stage 8 of green grounds with 10 Kirbys without using the shortcut. That's a very specific task. Yeah. Especially when there's only like five screens of these things. Well, there's only four worlds, right? So, yeah. 40 stages maybe? Um, yeah, 40 stages, you know, a couple minutes each, maybe five minutes on the outside. So I, I, I think a, a decent sized game for what it is. I've only used yeah, good, I've only a seen, good weekend game. I've only seen the first two. It seems like it's still introducing stuff. I, I showed a quick glimpse of some of the underwater stuff. There's uh, like a, a sonic style uh, breath meter that you need to keep an eye on. And 
yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on here. The, on first play, everything that I've played has been a lot of fun, and, and they seem like they're trying to create some sort of hooks to get you to go back to previous stages, but that's Kirby Mass Attack for the Nintendo DS. That's out, I believe, this Sunday um, on the Nintendo DS. Patrick Klebic, thank you for sitting in on this fluffy pink quick look with loves me. me. Loves me some Kirby. Absolutely. Thank you, guys.